Let's make a video about Discord. Hey guys, thanks for visiting the Behold Gamers YouTube channel. My name is Shane and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up a Discord server for your online Dungeons and Dragons group. I'll even include a link to a free template that I have in the description down below. So be sure to check that out after the video is done. And as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here at BeholdGamers.com if you wanna keep getting more updated content on online Dungeons and Dragons gaming. So the first thing you wanna do when you create a new Discord server is from the Discord application on your desktop, go ahead and jump on and hit this little plus button on the left hand side called add a server. So very simply, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to just create my own. This is gonna be a brand new server that I'm gonna create from scratch. And it's just gonna be for me and my friends. This is gonna be for an online group here. Uh, you can also customize with a custom photo, however you wanna do it, it's up to you. But for here, we're just gonna go over what kind of basic setup you're going to need as far as uh, text channels, voice channels, and linking in the Avre bot. So my top requirements as far as a Dungeons & Dragons server in game here is going to be one channel just dedicated to chat. So this will be outside of the game for you to communicate with the DM and players. Uh, so this general uh, chat box would be a perfect one for that. Uh, we can actually change the name here. We'll go to edit channel and we'll just call it chat. And so permissions set up for this channel are just gonna be very general. Everybody's allowed to uh, jump into this chat, do whatever they want, send links, photos, anything at all. Uh, this is just a general chat channel for your users in the in the game. Uh, this can be used for everything from setting up your sessions uh, to just talking, having having some fun along the way. All right, so now we're going to set up some permissions because these next few channels are going to require the dungeon master to have complete control over certain channels. So we're going to come to this drop down here and go to server settings. And right below the overview, which should already be selected, we're going to come to roles. Uh, we're going to add a role by clicking this create role button on the top. And this new role we're going to call DM. So this will be for the dungeon master and we'll give it a nice, let's say bright blue. Uh, and this new role will be specifically for the dungeon master to use. I'm gonna color code it with my favorite color, this tealy blue looking thing here. So I have a new role set up for dungeon masters. Next up, I'm gonna add another text channel. This one is going to be for our gameplay setup. So I'm gonna call this one gameplay and we're gonna create this channel. Uh, the way you do that is you hit this text channels button and create channel. You title it what you want and you set it up right there. Uh, so I want to create another channel and this one is going to be specifically for the dungeon master to control and this will have links for all the resources that the dungeon master wants their players to have access to. So I'll just call this one links. And here the dungeon master is going to be the only one that can edit this channel. And the way we set that up is we go to edit channel and come to permissions. And with this, I'm going to turn off manage channel for everyone manage permissions for everyone. And then I'm going to add another role for the DM. And in this one, they're going to be able to manage the channel and they're going to be able to manage permissions for this channel. Uh, everyone needs to be able to view this channel. So we'll do that for the dungeon master as well. Uh, one more channel that's important for a dungeon master to have uh, for their players is handouts. And this will include everything from maps to portraits, uh, anything that the Dungeon Master feels is important for their players to have and have access to throughout the game. And it's going to be much the same as the last one. So we're going to add a role, DM, they're the only one that can manage and manage permissions. And for everyone else, they cannot manage and manage permissions. And now we're going to come to our DM only channel. And this is where the DM can manage uh, roles through the Avra bot outside of where the players can see. It's basically what the DM does behind the dungeon master screen, the things that they only want to see for themselves. So we'll add another channel here and we're going to call this behind the screen. And we're going to set this channel to private. This way the dungeon master will be the only one that can use this channel. And it basically just automates that whole process. So if you look here, we'll come to Edit channel, permissions, private channel. The only roles that are available here are the DM. So no one else can do anything on this channel. And now one of the most important things here, I'm gonna come to my profile and I'm going to add the role of DM. So now I have access to all of those channels that I just set up 
for Dungeon Master only. Uh, now we're going to have our voice channel. Let's uh, make a few quick edits here under this voice channel. Uh, we're gonna call it Table Talk. And our Table Talk is set up. And so once you're connected to this channel, your voice will be heard by players based on your settings. So we're gonna come to user settings here and we're going to come to voice and video. Now I'm going to set this up so my input device is this microphone right here. So that's that one right there. And the output device you can set up if you're wearing headphones, you'll be able to manage that as well. I also like to use push to talk. For mine, I always program it as F5. I have a stream deck that I use to trigger that key bind right there. And you can select which camera you're using. So I have multiple cameras. I'm obviously using a camera to record this video here and you can set it up however you would like and then you can test both your voice and video uh, when you're setting up. Make sure that your voice is going to be the most prominent if you're the dungeon master. You want to make sure that your players are all able to hear you. Uh, however you need to manage your player settings, help them out with that. Very easy to do. You can even do screen share to help set that up if you need to. All right, so the next thing we need to do is invite the Avrabot into our server. So I'm going to jump over to avra.io, uh, that is their website. And if you scroll to the bottom, there is this invite link. You just hit that button and you select which server you want to invite the bot into. So I'm already logged in on my web browser here. I'm just going to select my D&D game server and I'm going to invite the Avra bot into it. I'm gonna authorize it to have all of those checked off and hit the authorize button. Yes, I am human. So I have that capture there that I needed to do. All right, so Avra, I can see I just got a message from Discord saying that the Avra bot is now in, inside of my server. So you can see from here on the right hand side, the Avra bot is online in my server, but I wanna change some of the permissions. So in the chat, I don't want Avra active. So I'm going to turn off the Avra bot in here uh, where I don't want it to be able to manage anything in this server. So I'm going to turn all of this off. So Avra is not going to be available here. And so once I've taken Avra offline for this channel, anything that I do here, so let's say exclamation roll 1d6, it will not work with Avra. Whereas if I jump to my gameplay channel, I'll enter the command you can see the Avra bot still has access and it shows the roles that are in there. Uh, so in my links, I'm also going to do the same. Same with the handouts. I don't want the Avra bot working in those. Now behind the DM screen here, since I'm the only one that can access this, I'm going to do exclamation point roll 1d6. And so I've entered that command to roll 1d6. I'm just gonna test it out here and it doesn't work. The reason that is, is because I set this up before the Avra bot was put in place. So I'm going to come back to edit this channel and permissions, and I'm going to add a permission for the Avra bot, and it'll be able to view, manage, manage permissions. Let's just go down the list here. And so I wanna let the Avra bot have the exact same permissions that I do on this channel. So let's hit that again. And so here you can see when I hit enter on that command, now the Avra bot is working. All right, so back here on the gameplay channel, I wanted to do one more thing, which is add my campaign to this Avra bot. Uh, we're gonna use my Saturday Morning War Tunes campaign that I run with my son, Tristan. So once you're on D&D Beyond, you jump up to your collections and go to my campaigns, and you're going to use the URL, not the link to invite, but the URL for the campaign that you want to use. So we'll jump in here to Saturday Morning War Tunes and view campaign, and I'm going to take the URL from that campaign page, and I'm going to insert it into the command to allow Avra to recognize the roles happening inside of this campaign. And so the command that you're going to use once you're back on Discord and you have that URL copied, you're going to use exclamation point campaign, space and then insert the URL. And so here I've linked my campaign. So any of the roles that are happening on my player's sheets on D&D Beyond will show up in front of me here. So if your players don't want to look at the Discord server, if they still wanna make their roles inside their D&D Beyond player character sheets, it'll show up here so the DM can see it rather than managing multiple screens. 
So let me show you an example of what I mean about that. So I've opened up the character Doris from my Saturday Morning Wartoons campaign, and now I need to add that into my Discord server through the Offerbot. I'm going to type in the command exclamation beyond space and add in the URL from my character sheet. And now Doris is inside the campaign. So any rolls I make from his character sheet will jump to this wyvern tail flail here. I'm going to make a two hit roll and we'll see the result pop up on D&D Beyond. And then we'll also see the results show up in our Discord server. So if my players are using D&D Beyond uh, for their character sheets to make all of their roles, I as the DM don't need to leave and use the uh, game log inside of D&D Beyond. I can stay on my server in Discord and watch everything that's happening when they make their rolls on D&D Beyond. Now the same is true if they're making a spell roll, for example. Here I used Cure Wounds. You can see it rolled the 2d8. The result shows up on my Discord server. And finally, when you're ready to invite your players after you have everything set up on your Discord server, it's very simple to do. You just drop down from your My D&D server and invite people. It'll generate a unique invite link that they can follow. You just send it to them and they'll be able to jump in here and you guys can do all of your communications, your gameplay, everything inside of Discord. If you're not using D&D Beyond, there are other places that you can pull information from the Avra bot into your server. Uh, be sure to visit avra.io to get more information on that. Obviously, there are other bots that you can incorporate into your D&D game, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to set up and get started and get playing Dungeons and Dragons with your group online. These are using some of the newer features that I've found with D&D Beyond, updating the Avra bot, and they're always making new updates. So that's a very useful bot that you can use inside of your Discord games. If you use something like Beyond 20, you can also get the results of those rolls from your D&D Beyond games here in the Discord server as well. Uh, we'll get to that in another video, but I just wanted to show you basic setup using the Avra bot, D&D Beyond, and Discord. So that's how you set up your Discord server. Again, I'm leaving a link to the template for this server that I just built in the description down below. You're going to need to add in the Avra bot and things like that. But the permissions, everything that I set up will already be in place. So that'll be in the link in the description down below. Be sure to check that out. I hope that you can enjoy playing online with Discord. I know it's not the same as playing in person, but we're doing what we can with what we've got. Thank you guys very much as always. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and have fun. Learn lots. Just be an 18 or something. But, womp womp, let's turn that critical hit button off because it doesn't count. He has to go with the 19 and it hits. Aww. So roll your damage for the 19. You know what? <laughs> let's just say that 19 was my disadvantage roll for that one. <laughs> roll, roll.